VIP. I'm Stacy, and tonight I'm going out to eat. <laughs> so I thought because I got ready five minutes early for once in my life that this would be a good time to talk about going out to eat on AIP, which sucks. I don't even like going out to eat. It's kind of more stressful than fun. I want to go for the social aspect, but I know too much. I've worked in restaurants. Um, Let's get down and talk about this. <laughs> Cross-contamination is so likely that I just don't even want to go out to eat. I don't enjoy it. First of all, the meat's not grass-fed. Um, the veggies aren't, aren't organic. The oil, half the time, is not olive oil, even when they tell you it's olive oil. What they do is they use 51% olive oil and cut it with 49% canola or something and call it olive oil. The cooks, they have these tongues. It's an extension of their hand. I've seen it at almost every place I've worked. They, they take the tongues, they flip a piece of toast or burger bun, then they flip over a grilled pizza crust, then they take the tongues, they flip over your, your burger patty. Um, and then the tongues are touching some barbecue chicken, or, and now they're touching your burger patty. So now you get a little tomato, you're getting a little gluten, you're getting a little freaking who knows what. I just hate it. Things I have seen to make me extra cautious, paranoid. Uh, we had a pizza cook at the last place I worked, um, or a couple places ago. Cut a gluten, uh, he cut a regular pizza with a gluten crust and cheese with the pizza cutter, and then he proceeded to take the gluten free pizza out of the oven and cut that with the same knife. Um, that oven, by the way, that they made the gluten-free pizzas in was a convection oven, like the wind was whipping around in there. So they'd get this bread, this super um, crusty bread with all the floury, like if you touched the bread and touched your black shirt, you'd have like flour all over your black shirt. It was very well floured on the outside. They'd take this floury bread, put it in that, that convection oven with the wind whipping around, and then they'd bake your gluten-free pizza in that oven. Gluten-free pasta, yes, this restaurant also had gluten-free pasta. They were catering to gluten-free people. Unfortunately, they were cooking the gluten-free pasta in the same water they were cooking the regular pasta in. And when I brought that up to the manager, she laughed like, oh, the boiling water doesn't get rid of that. <laughs> what else, what else? They literally did make their own gnocchi and they, the flour was just flying through the air. Like anything that had not been coated with gluten before that was coated then. Or a lot of places will make their own focaccia or bread or whatever and the flour is just flying through the air. It's getting on all the plates that they're plating your food on. Um, a lot of times they don't, <laughs> there was one cook at one place I was like, oh, this guy's on a gluten-free diet, and he went and he read the label, and he said, um, there's no gluten in it, and I went, and I read the label, and I said, well, there's wheat in this. He's like, well, it doesn't say gluten anywhere. So they don't always know <laughs> that wheat has gluten in it, for crying out loud. What else? Oh, so many examples. I've seen a lot of it with every place with the tongs, you know. Well, there's more of the things I've seen, the things I've seen that make me not want to go out to eat, even in the most well-meaning places. I haven't had non-grass-fed meat in like a couple months now. I've been 100% grass-fed and now I'm like, well, what if I react to the corn and soy cow meat antibiotic growth hormone? I don't even want it. But I want to go out and have fun, so here I go. I try to just go to like steakhouses, places that have steak or fish, and then I'll just get one plain piece of steak or fish. Even better if they don't have to put it on the grill. But I don't want it in a saute pan either because then who knows what kind of oil's in it. Basically, for me, I feel like my safest bet, um, stay away from the grill and stay away from oils they would put in a saute pan. I'll get like, you know, scallops or a big piece of fish, not really salmon, it's always farmed, maybe some cod or some haddock or halibut or something, and I'll ha ask them to please just cook it in a saute pan with a little water so it doesn't stick and nothing else. Oh, that's yummy. <laughs> or um, this steak, you know, I'll just, I'll take a chance sometimes because I like steak and I'll say, please don't put it on the grill next to like a pizza crust, please. And then I hope that maybe that hot, hot grill burned off all the molecules of gluten that was on it last week. I don't know. I I don't ever, it's been a while since I've gotten really sick from eating at a restaurant, but um, who knows if it could be the cause of under eye bags or feeling fatigued or bloated a daily, I don't know, you know? Maybe I'm just getting subtle bits, maybe I'm not. All right, wish me luck, guys. <laughs>
wish me luck <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video and if you did subscribe below i post new videos every thursday sometimes bonuses on sunday i'll see you soon i hope until then be healthy and non-gluten contaminated <laughs>